I don't I know that the government is not there to take lands from people. The government has not positioned people in different places. I say it's a, a, a work of nature that you are positioned in a certain land. And you, all those who are positioned in places have their right and they have the, their own traditional rights on that area. We don't want there because with the, the people don't have, they, 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 there's no advantages that we people here will have. We don't need them, we are fine. And if they come and they say they want to take this land from us, we are not ready for it. We will fight and, and we will die for our land. Everybody here is self-employed. They have their cocoa farms. And they are and they're, they're still planning to, 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 to extend their farms. If they come and cut those, those they come and cut, get those bush, where will the people, the young men who are living in the village, or if I even come from, coming from outside to come and invest on farming, where they will have land where? Plantation jobs have always been modern day slavery. We've seen a lot of industrial plantations develop around this area and nothing, absolutely nothing has happened uh, positively to the population. Mondemba, if you look at Mondemba and you look at Indian generally, as I wrote in my own handout, we are saturated with palms. Because the palm is here since 1927. They have a palm, big palm estate which is, of course, not beneficial to us, if I could say that. Then when you look around again, you have small holders. Beside that again, palm grows even the wild forest with us. So we don't need palm. If there's a division that, that has oil, I think in the end, that is why vehicles come right away from north and so on. They come here, buy oil from palm oil and so on. Palm oil supplies just enough. And the small holders again, enough. Individuals again have their own palms enough. Look at palms growing here. From here, if you go, look at behind me here. I make my own not palms. Oh yeah. It's not Dian that Dian oil to Dian is like water to some other other places. We have to concern with what should be the livelihood of the people. In the first place, if you have to give out seventy thousand hectares of land to a single individual as a company, what land is left for the communities? Coming to take 30,600 hectares of land on the remaining land which was given to the people for farming is incredible.
we are putting all our ideas in open of a cocoa farm, cassava. We also have things that we enjoy facilities from the farm like cola nut. That times we sell about 10,000 francs or 15,000 francs for cola nut. We have bush mango that we also harvest from the farm. But now they have just started doing their painting and putting of their pegs in people's farm, passing their lines wherever they feel as to do. I do pray that the government will look into this. That a future generation of Ekita, and not only Ekita, and go to subdivision as a whole, they should grow up and see what is known as a forest. This is my cassava farm. It's our group farm. We are 10 in numbers. Then why should I need a piece to come in our, in our land? I send my cassava. One basin is 12,000 francs for Gary. A bag of water to food is 10,000 francs. So we have everything in our village. Ca cassava, cocoa farm, palm oil, maize, a bush mango that we sell. Cola, not bitter cola. We don't have only one thing in our land. We have so many things that give us money. So we don't need people to come and disturb us. This is nine months cassava. The how can you say we, we, are, we, we are suffering? We are not suffering in our land. No. We use cassava to make miondo, we use cassava to make gari, water fufu. Then why, why should you say we are, we, we, we are suffering? We are not suffering, no. If you don't eat gari, you eat miondo. If you don't eat miondo, you eat nkunkum. If you don't eat nkunkum, you will, you will buy the cassava uh, uh, itself. Then why should we say we are hungry? We don't need you. We are completely against the project. Cameroon became the fourth biggest cocoa exporter thanks to the farmers in this region. And uh, the entire cocoa industry in Cameroon, the entire coffee industry in Cameroon is based on small scale exploitations. It's based on family uh, type uh, farms. And uh, that's the way the uh, projects uh, became what they were. And that's the way Cameroon became the fourth biggest cocoa exporter in the world. And I think the sixth biggest coffee exporter in the world. Uh, it is not with industrial productions that will get anywhere and we don't solve the problem of the population because uh, the people earn less on industrial farms than they do earn from family holdings. This is my farm. And my father died and left to me. So the agents have already given me a boundary that I cannot pass. You can see, this, this, this is my farm. That people come and give me a limit, a point that should not cross. The, the, the number is 1,200. The day they came here and were doing this thing, I was not, I was not uh, around. I was not inside the farm. But now that I want to come and grant it and do not give me anything, I don't know how to keep myself. Yes. And I have my mother, my, my, my children, my brother, and my sisters, my cousin with me. Yes. They enter into the forest without the, the knowledge of the villagers, carved the other thing, they pass through farms. And the farmers were not uh, happy with that. I took at first, like the head of the team, eight boys, who so demarcated the area. In terms of hectares, uh, we hadn't any uh, machine to calculate. Yeah. They, they had their, their GPS. Thank you. 
for this company we come for five years. Hello. The company we come for five years. As we did, we don't see what they don't do for we. They just come say, we not give a bush. Who will not give a bush? We talk for them, say, uh, the settlement. The settlement. They don't get the whole bush. That time we get across mana, but now they don't be short mana. This side, uh, why? The other side, now we can get people to get them. The bush way there for we uh, you know plenty. This company now it come. That way we make agreement. Say mm -hmm. we, anything we go talk, we now agree. They say yes. We will be teaching the better people. But now they don't make the way where we regret a cry. As we regret a cry, we talk say may the government. They are full we. They have just forced themselves there. You don't understand. No agreement, nothing. So we want me to go away because I be, we believe say we could get changes inside the village of Fabi. We we'll give them number of hectares, not them forcing us to give them their number of hectares. So they don't impose themselves inside there. We village, no, no, up to date. And if you are elites, where did they outside? The room does repeat. They made a common outside from that place. What's concerning me is, is that uh, there hasn't been a broader stakeholder meeting. Um, there have been some small meetings, there have been uh, small teams going to villages. I, I think that for proper collaboration to take place, we have to sit and talk. We have to sit and talk and proper agreements arrived at. From the reaction of the community and the dodgy attitude of the company, I know that there's no proper agreement. No, 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 no. We now follow them, go bush, go show them, play where they get for end. They will no, not show them. No, no, they will not say all they are coming for here. We not get no document with them. No document with them. All they are coming for here, all operation <clears throat> where they do them here is verbal with the community. Not to never be put into writing or it never be agreed with the community that like they should do like this. All things just verbal. Eh, we shall do like this, we shall do like this. And so they will operate for the community. Mm -hmm. And not in the middle of the year do. Whoa, we get so many things that we will try for poor, we will try for show and for now, like the uh, small ball hole where they put and they will not be functional. SG Sub built this, and since then they built it, it has not worked. They built and put the, uh, the sandboard. Yeah, they are, that they have contributed to the development of this community. Yeah, I think they are doing a kind of buying off approach. They are struggling to do some little things that they think, okay, we can buy off a few communities, the, the people, we can give them small money, we can give them some food, we can give them salt, we can give them, we can help them to to do um, health, uh, like recently they operated them upon. So they are doing a kind of approach, which to me I think is, is a buying off approach. Well, I talk say we do big mistake, why would we accept, say, we could give a place for the nursery? But if we talk, say, if we give them place for the nursery, they could be with houses. They will give with light. They will give with water. They will give with hospital. But since then, so till today, 13 months today, nothing has been done inside the village.
the cradle road to go to the to the site which has been given by the by the village Talangaya. Yeah, you have many Azobe, and if you go along, you see you see that the Azobe safe even to cross one small water there. They use the Azobe to build the bridge. I have not seen any authorization, but there is a rumor going on that they don't have an authorization. It may be they want to start work before the authorization. I cannot really tell. The site is very, very important for conservation. It is an HCV site. There is a lot of important uh, biodiversity in the area. As per the habitat of the animals, because normally when all the trees are destroyed, because this is uh, a reserve area, you have the sanctuary, you have uh, the Bakosi National Park, and those, these areas, uh, because of the scarcity of the trees, if it may be, they do any felling, these animals will normally lose their habitat. Everybody is waiting to hear whether the president of the Republic of Cameroon will sign a presidential degree giving them a land lease uh, for this 70,000 hectares for 99 years. Uh, I think the government of Cameroon needs to be very serious when they are talking about signing conventions. In 99 years, you and I will never, never be there. When you still look at that lease by the government of Cameroon, another aspect which is very outrageous to me is how they will pay $0.5 per hectare of land. I think the local farmer in my village can earn more than 20,000 francs CFA per kilogram or who earn more than 100,000 francs CFA per hectare of land of cocoa cultivated. As I'm telling you like this, this farm you see like this is about five hectares. I will harvest about 15 bags of cocoa from here, which we use to sell to buyers and will sustain our life from there. A bag of cocoa is about 68 to 70,000 francs, about 1,233,000 francs that we get every year. If we do our deduction of chemical, that's our own surplus that we usually have. But I don't know, I've read a lot of documents that say for these five hectares of land, that will get about 15 bags of cocoa, going to 1,233,000 francs. I've read that document say that Egyptia will pay 500 to 250 francs for a per hectare. I'm doubting, how can you take somebody's farm worth a million? You pay but only about one five to the government. We are protesting to tell the governor to know that we are young people coming. If the land is sold, what shall we have to use tomorrow? That is why we don't want to use the land for them. We don't have land to give to anybody as for now. Mm -hmm.